Yo guys, it's Sarah Yoda, you know that today we are back playing some more Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards. We are on a mission to find uh, our sixth locator card, because I don't know uh, who has it, but I want it. Uh, it should be mine, and so I'm going to look around until I can find uh, who I can get another locator card from. I can go around. I think I found Weevil at the park last time. Um, I don't think I saw anybody at the card shop. That was worth dueling. I don't think there was anybody at art uh, worth worth fighting. Uh, there was actually basically nobody to fight. This guy might fight me, but I, he definitely does not have a locator card. So I do think that wherever this person is, is probably in the clock tower square. There's a lot of places to go explore. Um, so let's keep going exploring and maybe we'll find uh, a person to duel. You know? Uh, do you have anything? I have a backbone. I haven't met any worthwhile duelists. You know what? I'll fight you. Just because you said that. Just because you said that. I also bought like a ton of cards last time. Uh, most of them I can't fit into my deck. So, you know, that is a, uh, a thing. But, uh, yeah. I'm not all that worried about it. I haven't found any, like, strong uh, duelists yet. So... And this is definitely not going to be another one. I think all these nameless people probably, at least in this point of the game, are probably all just like the same level of bad. Um, I'm just going to bring out this thing. Get this duel over with quicker. I just don't like just getting more cards. And the more duels I win, the more I can uh, up my, my deck cost, whatever. Which kind of seems insane. I don't know if there's ever like a cap to it or not. Because right now, it sort of seems like we are... That you could potentially just make it go, like, off the charts. Like, I I, I don't know. But, uh, we'll see. I mean, that would also take a long time to do. If all the good cards are, like, worth over 100 costs to, like, put into your deck. Um. And, you know. Then you would have to get your your deck cost maximum to, like, four or 5,000. Which, like, if it's going up five each time, uh, then. <laughs> I don't know. I can't do the math. But, uh, I feel like it would take a while. Lava Battle Guard. That's okay. Uh, it's five stars, so you still need to sacrifice. And it powers up Swamp Battle Guard, so... Alright, pretty similar to what it does in real life, I'm pretty sure. So we beat Rex before. Ooh, hello? What is this? Top is here. Get lost? No! Ooh, hello? Oh, uh, what do you want? All right, what goes our security staff? Oh, whatever. A duelist, right? This is a duel simulator. My brother made it, and I'm testing it. I dueling guess it. Remember, it was made for my brother. You better be good and ready for it. Not me, the little machine. This is not gonna end well. This is not gonna end well. I'm still gonna use Shadow Spectre as an anti. All right, let's, I, I, I feel like this is not going to go uh, well at all. But, we won't know until we try. All right, 900. Honestly, not the most impossible thing. What type are you? You are a fiend? I believe I should be able to take you out tight matchup wise without destroying myself. There we go. Boom. Electric Lizard was activated. One monster will be immobilized on the next turn. Okay, okay. So I'm immobilized, but guess what? I can still take you out. All right, all right. This is definitely our, our strongest opponent so far. Okay, another Electric Lizard. So, if it's immobilized, I wonder if I can sacrifice it. No, I cannot. Uh, that makes sense. Why don't we bring out... Why don't we bring out the Sword Arm of Dragon? Because if you can't sacrifice, you're probably not bringing out anything strong enough to uh, take care of that. Alright, alright. We got Nekogal. Let's go ahead and bring that out. Alright, now, now we should win. Now we should win. Type matchups could potentially screw me over, but I don't think they will. Looks like this machine has got a lot of... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, like, electric earth, whatever, but, uh, no, no. That's a, that's a wind right there. Uh, I'll just put this morphing jar out. It'll probably get destroyed. We're still winning. We're still winning. Hopefully my Nekogal doesn't go down. If my Nekogal goes down, then there's a problem. Okay, good. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. We are... Solid. Great, even. My cards just keep getting weaker and weaker. I just need to outlast maybe one or two more turns. 
Although I don't think this machine has a locator card. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, all right, all right. So that's gonna be. I can't do the quick maths. Another thousand seven hundred. Oh my gosh, we're fifty short. I just don't take out Nekugo. Thank you. Uh, for the style points. There we go. There we go. All right, all right. Still victory. Still have not lost to anybody yet. Based by five, five thousand domino. The wicked worm beast. That's really good because it's three star, but of course the cost is on sixty one, and our duelist level is too low. Victory has been confirmed. I did it. Uh, you appear to be relatively skilled at this. The machine needs a bit more adjusting. All right, that was fun. Uh, how do I get out of here? There we go. Um, hmm. Where else could I possibly go? I feel like I went up here. The graveyard. Darkness here reassures me. I'm sure it does. There isn't anywhere further into the graveyard. Hmm. Maybe I should check back at the park? There's only so many places I could possibly go. Alright, nothing there. What about behind you? Nope. Nothing there. Alright, no locator cards there. This is by my house. Nothing that way. Nothing that way. Alright, let's let's go check out the park again. Maybe there's somebody else nearby. Okay, there's you. Shoot me out, he's been that way for the last two days. He doesn't say anything either. Not a word. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can't duel him. I've tried. Okay, this is where Weevil was. Uh, what do you want? You challenging me? You got guts? Come on. No, I'm looking for somebody. Uh, not so. You know, keep at it a little bit harder. You can't keep at it too, sure. Uh, you're just standing over here. What is it? What do you want? Don't believe if you don't want anything. Uh, I want a locator card. Where do I get my last locator card? It's got to be, like, you know, a somewhat important character, right? I'll check back at the card shop. No. Might have to look up uh, a guide. I don't, I don't, I don't know where to go. I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I'm, I'm back for now. Uh, this is really, really confusing. I don't understand how you possibly beat this game without a walkthrough, uh, if, if this is how I'm understanding it. Um, I, I think I might have to battle Weevil two more times, but I can't tell, like, what's optional and, like, what's not. I, I think I have to battle Weevil two more times. Um, for reasons, I guess. Because beating him once wasn't good enough, and he's, I guess he was like, I won't accept defeat. Uh, so, it's so weird. I, I literally deserve the walkthrough, it's just like, Battle Weevil like two extra times, then it'll tell you like where Mai is. Then you have to go to the game shop where the Yugi's grandpa is, and there's a different person there. Then you have to like talk to them. How do you. What the heck? Alright, I. I Alright, this is so dumb. So, so dumb. How, how, okay. I, I don't know. I don't know. I really. I, I like the setup of this game, but like, how how are people doing this without a walkthrough? That That's insane. There, there's no way. I refuse to believe it. Alright, we just have to beat. We will two more times, which should be easy enough because I've already done it. Uh, I'll put in defense just so he thinks he can beat me, even though he's definitely going to put out a forest monster. Yep, haha. <laughs> you played, you fool. But yeah, I'm just going to beat uh, We will two more times. I'm literally just going to follow a walkthrough at this point because, like, how, how are you supposed to know, like, what to do? It doesn't make any sense to me. I'll go ahead and attack. I don't know, I mean, I'll try and use in-game clues to see where, like, Weevil points me next. But, like, so based on the walkthrough, it's like, Weevil will tell you where Mai is, and then just don't, you don't even need to go there. You go somewhere else entirely. So, like, I don't, <laughs> I just don't get it, dude. Oh, gosh, it doesn't make any sense. You are a forest. Okay, good. Said some of those bugs will be, like, wind monsters, so you gotta be, you gotta be a little careful. All right, good, good. We are all set. Uh, Go ahead, bring out... This. I was gonna say, all right, good, good. I'm just gonna assume that everything that we put down is uh, forest. So I can keep using the flame viper to take out everything in my path. Uh, yeah, that. 
Yup, yup. We will not learn his lesson. Or he just doesn't have any other cards to put down. I wish we'd be one turn away from beating him again. And I'll just beat him a third time, I guess. Uh. Yeah, this is fine. Yep, all forest. Flame Viper is just the strongest card in the game. That's, that's all there is to it. Face by 10, 2400 Domino, Kaleon. It's fine. I have one of those in my deck. Not bad. I can't win, can't win. All right, we'll do it again. Then I've lost you. I demand a rematch. Uh, let's... I don't know what I want to... Like, I never know what I want to answer here. I feel like I want to do, like, stronger cards. But I don't know. I mean, I'm also definitely not going to lose. But, like... Yeah, hold on. I'm, like, definitely not going to lose. Why don't I just, like, put my, like highest cost card and just have faith in myself. What I'm scared of Weevil for. Alright, he's not going to put anything above 900. I have to believe. Even though I know he has stuff that is above 900. Let's go! You fool. You fool. You should not have let me done that. Now, now this should be easy victory because I don't think he has any fire to get rid of my, my ancient one here. Uh, oh, hey, speaking of fire, the best card in the game. <laughs> oh, gosh. Flame Viper should just be renamed to Weevil's Worst Nightmare. Because that is what it's turning out to be. Uh, here we go. Same thing. This is the winning strategy. And then we are one turn away from victory. And then we can move on to the next step. There's also something that mentioned that there might be somebody else around here that I, I need to duel. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if I if that's necessary for the next step or not. I'm just gonna have to go to the card shop and see. Face by ten, twenty four hundred domino, even the swords mistress. That is a four star. Wow. That's a that's a really good card. Plus again, I said real well. You're strong. You're strong. You anymore? I accept my defeat. Maybe I'll let you in on a good thing. Word is that there's legendary cards there. I uh, kind of set up this tournament in hopes of grabbing them. And that's why the uh, the ghouls are on their duelist hunt. So here you go. Uh, you go look for those cards too. This isn't the end for me either. I'm going to assemble the ultimate deck one day. And I'll knock you out. I'll lose this tournament to you, but not next time. What? I'm I'm so confused. Hold on. I, I, I just, I just want to read word for word what uh what this walkthrough says. Um. Alright, let's see. Battle of three times, you will get information where my valentine is. You know what I didn't get? Information on where my valentine is. So, I don't understand. Even the walkthrough is hard to follow, apparently. Uh, I'm gonna go to uh, Grandpa's card shop to see if there's a new person there. No. So, I think I have to do another step first. So, yeah. I think there's somebody else that I need to duel... Uh, the game. Yeah, no, I, I feel like you need to offer better hints than that. All right, so the walkthrough isn't helping. Why are Yu-Gi-Oh games like this, dude? Dark Tool stories won't work for me. This one is so confusing on having to make progress. There's nowhere in this game that gives you any hints as to what you're supposed to do. That does not make any sense. Uh Alright, maybe maybe the step isn't here. Let's 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 see if there's like a new building open or something. Alright, well we can't leave out that way. Can we leave out this way? I don't know like what possible building would like now be open. Okay, nothing here. Is there is there anywhere new I can go? think so oh gosh stop I just need to keep trying like new new spots I don't know dude I, I don't know where to go there's nothing beyond you there's nothing in here come to laugh at me no 
Oh, you only want to have a rematch? Fine. All right. I, I think I can rematch him. I don't know if this is going to do anything. Oops. I'm just going to beat up Rex again really quick. I do. I just don't know, dude. This is so unintuitive. Uh, this is why I hate sometimes playing games that I've never played before, like as a Let's Play, because then I just end up getting stuck. And it's like, I don't, I don't know. Is that a fun viewing experience? I, I, I have no idea. It's annoying for me. I know that. That's for sure. I'm gonna beat up Rex. I don't, I, like, I just don't know. Do I have to do this? I don't know. I don't know what I have to do, what I don't have to do. Did I just duel every single person I come across and maybe they'll give me information? Uh, like, I just, I just don't know, dude. Oh no, you're 910. I need those extra 10, uh, life points taken off of Rex's total. Alright, next turn is gonna be the last turn for sure. I, I think, like, after every single, like, duel, I'm just gonna have to check in, like, the card shop to see, like, if there's anything different there. Take that. And there we go, just like I said. Alright, we did it. We beat Rex again for whatever reason. I told him to Domino, Crawling Dragon number two. That's, uh, insanely good. Of course, we can't put it in our deck yet, but that's still really good. Better make it to the finals. After all, you beat me. Hey, how's it going? All right. So, we didn't we didn't learn anything. Maybe I should just go duel everybody back at... Gosh, that's so annoying. All right. I, I, at this point, I probably just have to duel literally every single person if I want to, to, to make any progress. Which is annoying because they're all, like, so weak and, like, I'm not getting... Whoa, 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 hold up. You look like a duelist. Would you like to duel? Sure. Oh, you, you like, look different for some reason. I'm gonna go with the, with the solid Shadow Spectre play. Uh, sure. You don't have anything stronger? I'm just gonna assume I'm stronger than everybody until proven otherwise. So, yep. That's going to continue to be the case. I mean, I guess having these duels is good just because it is probably raising my duel level. I don't, I don't know. I, as far as I'm aware, you can't see your duelist level anywhere. It's like a hidden value, which feels like that shouldn't be the case. But you know, it could be hidden somewhere, and I just don't know. But nobody's told me about it. Uh, maybe that's something else I could look up as well. Um, no, let's just let's just go all in. I didn't even look at the types. So I was like, that could have ended badly. But yeah, because there was a... Uh, when I was looking through the through like the walkthrough or whatever, it was like... Uh, the thing that was holding us back from Rex Raptor is your duelist level has to be like 100 before we'll fight you. But So I guess I just got lucky and my duelist level was 100, you know, when I eventually was able to get him to fight me. But like, I didn't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to know. I don't know, it's just one of those one of those things. It's just like I like a lot of the mechanics about this game, but the the sort of um ooh, skull bird. That's pretty cool. That is six stars. That's uh not bad actually. I can put that in. I lost. Oh, you want to guess Mr. Underwood? That's something. Oh yeah, I saw Mr. Sendo Kaiba around the bridge. Why don't you challenge Mr. Kaiba next? Alright, I don't know if I can yet. Don't bug me if you don't want anything. Let me see if they Uh like what bridge though? Can I go to a bridge? I don't know. Not yet. Oh, I didn't actually need to go to this card shop. Do you do anything? Storage room is down there. All merchants down there. You can't go in. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm just going to keep checking every single time just to be like, is there something new there? All right, so we've got information that Setu is on the bridge. Where's the bridge? I don't know. Not like I'd ever be able to find out. Oh, dude, my dual level is right there. 158. Oh, no. My, okay, my bad. I, uh, I think my complaint is not that I don't know my dual level. It's that, uh, you don't, the, the cards don't say, like, what dual level you have to be before you can put them in your deck. Uh, like, uh, like this. It doesn't say... It just says my duelist level is too low, and it doesn't say like what level I do have to be. That's that's the part that's uh, a little a little strange. 
all right never mind so there's that um all right i'm, I'm gonna find a different walkthrough because that one clearly is skipping steps and not working for me uh <laughs> All right, so I found, I think I found a better walkthrough. I think there's somebody else that we need to, to fight at the park. So it says in the second area, this Afro guy. So what do you want? Don't bug me if you know anything. Duel. Your duelist too. I assume your child to one condition. Bring me useful information, then we'll duel. I'm looking for a duelist. Uh, a guy named Yugi. Do you know where he is? Yeah. What? He offers to live in the toy shop? That's a good uh, lead. Fine, we'll duel. All right, so I think, I don't know if I have to do this or not. I don't know what's necessary or what's not. So we're just going to, uh, I'm going to assume that you can't beat me. Watch, this is going to be like the one time I lose. Uh, we'll go, we'll go. Mask of Darkness. Too easy. In terms of the actual duels, this game is so easy, but in terms of finding where to go, it's not easy at all. But I guess, uh, I'm, I'm not going to, like you know, resort to a walkthrough for the entire playthrough. I just need to get to the next step. I think once I get to the next step, I I, I guess by, you know, in the future, I'm just going to duel literally everybody I come across. Um, because if I don't, then uh, I, I'll probably skip steps. Like, I came to the park, didn't duel this guy, and maybe that's a necessary thing to do. Uh, because it seems like these, these randos are the ones that are giving me, like, information. Go ahead and do that. Boom. Get our Mask of Darkness stronger. The Predis is going to be stronger on the next turn. And we just glide into an easy victory yet again. Nothing, nothing has changed. I'm still the greatest of all time. I beat man. I beat machine. I beat anybody that stands in my path. Um, uh, yeah, I mean... I don't need to put anything else on the field. Go ahead and win with what I got. All right. Beat you. By five. 286 dominant. What a weird number. Guy Dragon. Okay, that's six star. Uh, 1900. Not too bad. Not too bad. Defeated. That match was a good way to loosen up. I'm going to beat Yugi to establish my name here. I've got to hurry and find him. At least I should spare, uh, share some of my knowledge. My Valentine said to be the best female duelist. Well, I saw by the building. Uh, by the building. All right, thanks. Uh, if you hurry, you may be able to challenge her. Anyway, I'm off to the toy shop. All right, have fun. Uh, before I forget, I want to... I think it's time to take Sword Arm of Dragon out. This is a cost of 95. Interesting. If I take that out, uh, because I think, I think attack is more valuable than defense. So one of these six-star monsters like Sky, Sky Dragon uh, or Skullbird... That are 1900 attack and uh, still only require one sacrifice. Put that in the deck. Uh, actually, I can put that in the deck as well. Oh. oh wait, 61. Oh right, I just don't have the the space. Uh, I can put that in the deck to. I I can take out um. Where is it? Oh, that saber slasher was still in my deck. That does not need to be there. It's not that. I think I think my duelist level goes up by one every single time I win. That's what uh, I'm guessing. I don't know if story fights or like important fights make it go up higher. Uh, but that is possible. All right, let me let me let me just get to like this sort of like next section of like what I need to do. Um, all right, so I think now now I might be able to go to. The, uh, the card shop, that Afro guy might, might be there. There, he's right there. Oops. Hey. Hey. I dueled with Yugi, but I couldn't win. Ugh. Yeah, you couldn't even beat me. Alright, so, that's a thing that happens. Um. Alright, you see the Afro hire guy? So the southwest area of Clock Tower Square where the cafe is located. Uh, where, the cafe? That right here? Are you the guy I need to talk to? This is a creepy rumor going around. Yeah, okay. It's about this card shop. It's usually okay. But if someone goes in alone with a rare card, they say it never comes back out again. No one knows what's going on inside that card shop. That's what I've heard. Alright, so I learned something. Uh, 
right, so let's go to... I think I think this is like the, the card card shop. Right? Okay. Uh, let's try and go in. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I think from here... Uh, let's, let's not resort to the walkthrough and see if we can just kind of take it step by step. I think I've done all the prerequisite steps. Uh, the problem is, I think I skipped a step and then just trying to figure out where to go back to to do the step is hard. But now that I'm all caught up, I think I can try and use my brain to find where to go forward. We'll see. We'll see. If I'm going to go ahead and do... Is this a duel? I don't know. Welcome. Oh, you, you're... You must be Sorrow. Uh, you've been making a name for yourself lately. Where is that? You're quite a strong duelist. That's true. Actually, I was waiting for you to visit. See, I wanted to invite... I wanted to invite you to a special show. After I heard how good you are, I wanted to see you. Yes, I definitely wish for you to witness my show. But it's too cramped in here. Shall we go downstairs? Ooh. Ooh, baby. Yeah, let's go downstairs. This is the basement duel chamber. Please sit. Now we shall enjoy our duel together, you and I. I hope I don't lose, and I hope that it doesn't reset my progress back to, uh... Uh... The last save point, because it actually has been a while since I've saved. Because you can't move, can you? Uh, this duel is ruled. The losers are chopped up. It's a lovely rule that makes us diabolical. I remember the ghouls. Let me test your power. Ah, here I come. Oh, gosh. Uh, this will be something. You know what, where's my... I'll use the sword armor of dragon as an ante. <clears throat> Since it's not even in my deck anymore. Enjoy my show. Okay, put some stuff face down. If I can get that out, that'd be nice. Take my soldier, go! Alright, alright. Uh, Card-wise, we were stronger, although that one might have benefited from the... Uh, the Yamiyo on the field. Okay, yeah, yeah, so he's, he's getting the, the field bonus. If I could just draw, like, Mask of Darkness or something, that would be pretty sick. So you're 780. And you're a shadow. I don't know. Alright, I'm just gonna... Oh, gosh. <laughs> I might end up losing just because I don't have the right cards in my hand. We'll see. I think just, like, uh, that's 850. Alright, hold on. Here we go. I was gonna say, like, like, Mask of Darkness will get powered up by this. That should be good enough. Alright, now we're in a spot I can sacrifice. Okay, I'm forest. Please don't have anything like fire. <coughs> uh, inflict LP damage. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, and it's in attack position now. Hey, there's that Mask of Darkness. So because you use your effect, you're in attack position. You're just going to take this big attack to the face. And now that we have the upper hand, I think we're fine. Yeah, that Max of the Darkness at 1170 is what I figured would uh, would help me win the duel. Uh, Dylan Jewel is a little bit weaker just because of the field. Which is fine. We will survive. What have you got now? Mystic Lamp. Oh, okay. Easy. I could probably bring out... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sacrifice will sacrifice. Bring out this. And we should be one turn away. Alright, good. I don't have to worry about losing. Uh, I mean, there's not much I can do. Or not much I need to do. I didn't actually need to summon a card at all, because this will win. I don't know what those magic cards face down were, but they didn't do anything. Deck capacity increased by 30. 10,000 domino. Wow. Dark Magician. Okay, then. It only costs 20. That's fun. I can put that into the deck. It's because it requires two sacrifices. Honestly, I could put Dark uh, Magician in instead of the Last Warrior. They accomplish this. Or they, yeah. They, they, they accomplish the same thing. I lost. Oh, the blade is coming closer. Tommy, please, the lock. I got you, fam. Oh, saved. Uh, Mamari. <laughs> Mamari? It's Merrick. Uh, you appear to be strong, so was Laro. You've been, uh, impeding, been an impediment to my plans. Uh, don't think you'll get off freely. He's a fool. I would dispose of him. Well, we tried. I, I, I guess we're free to leave. Uh, yeah, before I forget, I am going to... Yeah, I'm up to 170, so I do think, um... The uh, more important duels 
probably uh, make our duelist level go up a little bit uh, higher. We're going to take out the, the last warrior to put in the Dark Magician. Boom. There we go. All right, I think I'm going to run home. I actually don't know where uh, where to go next. Maybe I should uh, look at the walkthrough because I didn't actually get any more information. But I'm going to go ahead and just wrap it up here. Whether I have to use the, the, the use of a walkthrough just to help me get from place to place. I'm not going to use it to, like, you know, try and get my deck better or anything like that. I think I can do that well enough on my own. Um, but... Uh, this game isn't very intuitive with telling you where to go, especially if you miss a step and then you have to circle around everywhere just trying to, like, talk to people and duel people. It's, uh, it's a little rough. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to find this bridge or this place that Mai is, and, I mean, I don't really know where either of them are. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll make sure to have a general idea of what the next couple steps are with the, with the help of a walkthrough, uh, and then I will see you on the next time. So, hopefully this is still enjoyable. I mean, I still like this game. Uh, it's it kind of unfortunate that I, I just don't think that it's um, very intuitive to tell you where to go, but I'm also very bad at navigating games in general, so it could be partially be a me thing, uh, and I'm also impatient because I'm doing a playthrough, and, uh, I don't want to just be running around like an idiot for 30 minutes, whereas if I was playing this on my own, maybe I'd be more willing to, uh, to waste time just doing nothing, but, um, yeah, so that's sort of where I'm at, but hopefully you're still enjoying it, so let me know, and I'll see you on the next time, so until then, 